if you're curious why my hair looks like this, it is because I am practicing my hairdo for my maternity photo shoot next weekend. And I thought today is the perfect day to try that out. And while the curls are setting, I just said, let's go ahead and sit down and make this chatty video and just share my heart with you all. Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. If you are new here, my name is Uvu Can. Today's video is gonna be a very candid sit down video where I talk to you about me rediscovering my purpose and the past four years and how things has changed so much in my life and what's gonna be new on my YouTube channel. Today's video, I wanted to go back and talk about what really has been happening in my life for the past four or so years and um, who I've become. And I hope that this helps you out and gives you some insight into your life as well because I didn't have this massive awakening or epiphany until maybe just a month or so ago. Uh, it took a lot of self-discovery to really be okay with the new version of me that I am right now. And I'm excited to share that with you. The first video that I made on this channel was September 19th of 2018. That was three years ago. And I came in super passionate about really diving into the creative side of me, looking to explore beauty, fashion, and uh, still giving you a glimpse into uh, authentic, raw life. And talking about topics that I was really passionate about what has happened since then and what really was happening um, up until I decided to chase after my dreams. That year was really crazy for me. And up until me having the courage to put out my first video and knowing that I wanted to pursue YouTube, it took my dad being diagnosed with stage three pancreatic cancer, February of 2018, for me to look life straight in the face and realize that I didn't want to waste any more time. It gave me the courage to pursue my dreams. And my dream was to pursue a career on YouTube because I wanted to create a life where there was flexibility and freedom. And I really wanted to explore the gifts that God gave me, which was in beauty and fashion at the time. And I was on this journey to self-love and self-discovery. And it just was so incredible. I felt free in, in, a, in a space where there was so much unknown around my dad's health. I had also just gone fired from a job and my self-esteem was at an all-time low. That was during a time when I had to decide whether or not I was gonna leave my husband and go to the States to support my dad on his cancer journey. So I left uh, for seven months to go and support my dad. And when I came back that summer, I put out my first YouTube video. <laughs> that was me leaning into having the courage to pursue my dreams despite the tumultuous situation that life had presented me with. It was looking cancer in the face and saying that I'm not scared of you. I will embrace what I have. I will still create space to live life abundantly, fully. It showed me that we don't know how much time we have left on earth. Why waste it doing something that does not bring us any joy. So although it was terrifying, <laughs> I just remember in that video I had mentioned, I thought about doing YouTube for eight years and I didn't do it because I just wasn't certain it was something that I wanted to do. And at that time, I was filled with so much passion that I said, let's do it. Let's take a risk. Why not? I started saying why not to so many different opportunities in my life and just taking risks and having fun and living life to the fullest. While we are on the subject of purpose, I wanna rewind a little bit. What gave me purpose in the past, growing up, really, was making my parents proud. Like, you're a typical Asian. I, my role was as a daughter, first and foremost. It gave me so much joy, satisfaction, and validation to make my parents proud, especially my dad. I was a daddy's girl and I freaking love that man. He is my hero, he still is. He is so incredible. And making him proud was my purpose in life at the time. And so when he got sick with cancer, everything came crumpling down. Combined with my marriage being very unstable because I had taken time to be apart from my husband for seven months, 
I fell into a really deep depression. I started reevaluating what, why am I alive? What am I living for? Why am I doing all that I'm doing for? What's my reason in living if everything that I accomplish, I cannot share it and enjoy it with the people that I love, especially my dad, who played such a big part in my life. The one light at the end of the tunnel in all of this was that it gave me purpose to be with my dad and fight cancer alongside of him. I just thought, however much time I had left with him, I was gonna use it up in the most beautiful way and that I was gonna be at the appointments and I was gonna uh, share moments with him that I would never get back. And we prayed for a cure, we prayed for just the best outcome and we were gifted with time. And we were gifted with so many incredible moments that I relish in still. And so this year, my dad passed away and his fight with cancer came to an end. He has won and he is now in heaven with Jesus. He passed away in April of this year. And just that massive life event, I needed and I, I allowed myself to take time to really just grieve because I lost the most important person in my life, my role model, my hero, the most just amazing person and the person who had given me purpose for the such a long time in my life. So for the next month or so, the next couple of months or several months after my dad's passing, I just, I knew that if I didn't take care of my mental health, I could spiral back into a really dark place, a really deep depression, one that I'd already come out of. And so I allowed myself this space to really internalize my feelings, grieve, and just be. Be in whatever feelings that I was having that was coming up for me. And I'm really grateful that I gave myself this space. And if you're going through something similar, I will make a video on my grieving journey. I know there's a lot of people, especially with COVID and now having been in the cancer community, there are many people who are looking for resources, who may be grieving, who are looking for coping or who are caretakers, who are looking for just resources. And so I'd love to share my experience and I'll make new videos, um, future videos on my experience in those topics. But for me, um, during that time, it was um, the best gift to myself to allow myself space to grieve and be okay to take things slow. Because also, <laughs> um, Paul and I, we started thinking about having a family a little, the year before this year. So that was 2020 that we started thinking about having a family. And uh, it's just so crazy where time has flown. So we went to seek out fertility treatments and uh, uh, I started IVF soon after my dad passed. And uh, I am happy to say, if you don't know already, I am currently seven months pregnant. I so during that time, while I was grieving, I was also stepping into this new role of just being pregnant and allowing myself this new identity of being a soon to be mom. That is huge, like poof, huge. And so with this new role, uh, I, I just, I knew I had to give myself space to be, had to give myself space to love on me and really sink and be present with my life and everything that had happened so far to be proud of where I'd been and be grateful for God and really seek a deeper relationship with my faith. So that is kind of where things have been and where they are currently. The new space that I'm in right now is that I have rediscovered a new purpose for my life. I didn't realize how much I wanted to be a mom until I got pregnant. I am freaking excited to be a mom. And I didn't realize that this would be a, a, such an exciting period of my life to know that I can raise a child, I can be what my dad was for me, a role model and live life courageously and in a way that I could be really proud to, to, to 
share with my child or my children in the future. All of that to say, on my YouTube channel, I will be making new content, which includes mommy content, lifestyle, and really sharing my life as a new mom and uh, uh, all of the exciting bits with you. That is the end of this video. My intention was to share with you since the moment that I started filming on this channel, September 19th of 2018, where life has taken me, who I've become, and who I still am, and also what you can look forward to seeing on this channel going forward. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!